with clergy. Welcome to this week's episode of Cruising with Clergy. I'm still out in the west of the diocese and I'm on a trip with Father Mene Kalamene to Julia Creek. One of the regular trips they do in this vast diocese of the Good Shepherd Parish in Man Island. Father Mene, welcome to Cruising with Clergy. Thanks, Neil. Good to be with you, my brother. Excellent. Now, Father Mene, this is, I suppose, your first uh, permanent placement since being ordained a priest in October last year. How have you found the journey so far? Uh, yes, it is, my brother. It's my first appointment as a new, new ordained priest in the Southern Diocese. The journey itself has been, uh, so far, uh, quite different due to the COVID-19. So, you know, uh, you know, who would have thought that uh, my journey would partake in this COVID-19 uh, endemic? But it is what it is, is that you just learn to adapt and um, you know, it's allowed us to, uh, to address this pandemic in a, in a different way and also see the needs of the people and, and do our best to address them. So, yeah. so after you were ordained in October, you uh, headed up to Wingham and did some relief work back up in Ingham where you spent your diaconate. Um, and then in the new year, you went on a very special journey. Tell us a little bit about it. Yeah, after being ordained, the opportunity of, uh, you know, traditionally uh, priests would go out and do a series of uh, Thanksgiving Masses. So I did one in um, had a Thanksgiving Mass uh, in uh, Towsville the day after the ordination, and then another one in Ingham. And then uh, for my holidays, I went to uh, do uh, a few Thanksgiving Masses with the families over in New Zealand. Started from Wellington up to Telpo and then made my way over to Samoa and over to the Dokola Islands. So that was a great opportunity for me to say thank you to the families for their support and prayers and uh, best wishes for my journey. Uh, and it was great to uh, see such support for, uh, for myself and, and the, the church itself. Now, this parish in, in Western Queensland. Um, it's not just one community of Manizer. It takes in Cloncurry, Julia Creek, Bullia, Dajara, um, Camerwheel. It's, it's massive. Tell us a little bit about a, a regular um, journey that you take on a Saturday to Cloncurry and Julia Creek. Yep. Uh, so, Father Mick and I, we look after seven churches. Uh, as you mentioned, there's uh, starts from Julia Creek, McKinlay, Cloncurry, Mount Isa, going up to Pajara, Bullia, and Camelwheel. And so we once a month we, we make our way to each um, uh, church to uh, celebrate Mass with the local people. And you know, some of these local people are traveling 70, 80 Ks just to turn up to Mass. And it's something they want to do. So for us, it's an inspiration because they know for them, we know for them that this is very meaningful for them. So we make the effort to go out to the people, meet them where they are, and celebrate the Eucharist with them. Now, as the newest priest of the Townsville Diocese, and or, or you know, in a football side or something like that, you'd be the rookie. Yeah. Um, what would be one of your inspirations or words of encouragement to other young men uh, considering priesthood? That's a that's a very good question to ask too, Neil. You know. Uh, you know, with everything that's happening in this world uh, today, uh, with the pandemic and so many different uh, concern, what concerns and worries around the world, and, you know, many are asking the questions. You know, how do we, how do we deal with this? How do we approach this? Um, you know, these these are things where people are asking, and for me, it's it's uh, there's a desperate need to understand uh, what Christ is offering us. Um, we're, sorry, we've just seen uh, a man walking along this road uh, carrying the cross uh, on, his, on his back and he's walking from Mount Isa, uh, I guess, to Cloncurry and it's about it's 120 k's away. Um, you know, these are the kind of things we, we can see out here, but, uh, you know, seeing things like that, it's an inspiration. Yeah. It, it also says to me, you know, that Christ offers something in regards to assisting us in this world. Yeah. Uh, and the element of love, uh, the power of love itself, uh, can conquer so many concerns and worries that we have in this world. And for me, if I, 
uh, you know, if I want to encourage our young people today, you know, what world do you want to live in? What kind of world do you want to live in? And for me, it's uh, what Christ offers us all is the power of love. Without that, we won't be able to find the peace that we're looking for. We won't be able to find uh, the kind of life that we hope for. Thanks, man. That was, was really nice. Thank you. To finish Cruising with Clergy, um, we listen to a piece of music that's special to uh, my passenger. Um, what would be one of your favourite hymns or songs? Oh, well, you know, with all that's happening around the world, you know, it's, for me, it, there's a desperate need for healing around the world. Uh, so one song that stands out for me was a, a song that was written by Michael Jackson um, many years ago. It's sung by the uh, music travel up um, uh, group. It's a, uh, two brothers who sing this version, mm. and it's such a beautiful, beautiful version. Uh, and for me, it's um, it, it speaks of the need of us coming together and allowing the love of, of each other, the love of God, to come alive, so that we can bring healing upon this world and to come together and unite. Uh, and that's needed in this in this place here. So. Um, yeah, so this is the song that I chose for, for, for us. So, hope you enjoy it. Mene, thanks very much for cruising with Bergy, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thank you, my brother. Cheers, bro. Yeah, bro. <laughs> thanks. <laughs> Sing it, <laughs> <laughs>